Right now, we are trying to understand how our sun interacts with what's outside. And once we get outside, we will, for the first time, be able to determine how many cosmic ray particles are out there trying to get in. We'll, be first, for the first time, be able to determine the magnetic field which is out there, which has come from the explosion of supernovae 5, 10, and 15 million years ago and created the medium uh, which currently surrounds uh, the heliosphere. When NASA's AI failed, humans rescued a 47-year-old spacecraft. In the vast darkness of interstellar space 15.6 billion miles from Earth, a tiny spacecraft launched in the 1970s went suddenly silent. After decades of flawless operation, Voyager 1 began transmitting complete gibberish, an incomprehensible stream of ones and zeros. NASA's most sophisticated AI systems were helpless to diagnose or fix the problem. But a small team of human engineers, armed with 1970s instruction manuals and decades-old code, achieved what artificial intelligence couldn't. They brought humanity's most distant explorer back online, proving once again that human ingenuity still outshines machine intelligence at the final frontier. For five months, NASA's engineering team worked tirelessly to diagnose and repair corrupted memory in a computer with less processing power than a modern toaster communicating across a distance so vast that each message takes 45 hours round trip. This remarkable story sits at the intersection of humanity's oldest trait, curiosity, and our most ambitious technological achievement. A tiny probe that continues functioning nearly five decades after launch, now exploring the space between stars. A signal in the darkness goes haywire. Imagine this, it's November 2023, and you're sitting in NASA's mission control when suddenly the data arriving from the most distant human-made object ever created turns to complete nonsense. The spacecraft is almost unimaginably far away, so distant that it takes 22.5 hours for radio signals to reach it, traveling at the speed of light. That's exactly what happened when Voyager 1, launched in 1977, suddenly began sending unintelligible data in a repeating pattern. The spacecraft maintained radio contact with Earth, so we knew it was alive, but the scientific and engineering data it transmitted had become completely unusable. It was as if the spacecraft had developed a severe form of aphasia. It could hear us, but couldn't form coherent responses. Imagine trying to diagnose a computer problem over the phone with someone 15 billion miles away, with a 45-hour delay between each question and answer, explains Linda Spilker the current Voyager project scientist. Now imagine that computer is from the 1970s, has only 69.63 kilobytes of total memory, and is running on less power than a refrigerator light bulb. The problem couldn't have happened at a worse time. Voyager 1 was collecting groundbreaking data about the interstellar medium, the mysterious environment between star systems that no other spacecraft has ever explored. The probe had recently detected a persistent, faint plasma hum described by scientists as similar to gentle rain, providing unprecedented insights into the density of interstellar gas. Now all of that precious data was locked away behind a wall of corrupted signals. NASA's AI hits its limit. When the crisis began, NASA immediately deployed its most advanced artificial intelligence systems to diagnose the problem. These sophisticated AI diagnostic tools had previously helped troubleshoot issues with the Mars rovers and other spacecraft, using vast databases of historical anomalies and simulations to identify problems and suggest solutions. But with Voyager 1, the AI systems were completely stumped. The AI is not accountable for the outcome. The person is, the human is, right? Explained David Salvagnini, NASA's chief artificial intelligence officer. So we have to first own that, and we have to understand what responsibilities come with us. It's crazy when you think about it. We can land rovers on Mars and detect black holes billions of light years away. But right here on Earth, many insurance companies still try to lowball people after an accident, like it's the Stone Age. If you ever get seriously hurt, your case could actually be worth millions, which is why you might want a stellar legal team fighting to get you the compensation you deserve. That's why so many people check out Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They don't settle for weak offers. Just recently, they secured $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philadelphia for injury victims, 30 to 40 times more than what insurance companies first offered.
And here's the real world physics of it. If they don't win, you don't pay. No upfront fees, no hidden charges. It's completely free unless they win your case. They've even modernized the whole process. You can submit your claim and chat with your legal team right from your smartphone. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash specialize, found in the description below, or by scanning the QR code on screen. Now let's get back to the video. In this case, the responsibility fell entirely to humans because the AI systems failed for several critical reasons. First, Voyager 1 is unprecedented. No other spacecraft has operated for 47 years or traveled so far from Earth. The AI had no comparable examples in its training data. Second, the extreme communication delay meant the AI couldn't perform real-time analysis or testing. Each diagnostic attempt required a 45-hour wait to see results. Third, the spacecraft's 1970s technology predates modern computing architecture making it alien territory for AI systems trained on contemporary systems. Perhaps most importantly, the nature of the problem required something AI still lacks, creative problem solving in the face of severe constraints. The human solution, Space Age MacGyver. For months, the Voyager team worked tirelessly to diagnose the problem, piecing together clues from the garbled data. Eventually, they discovered that approximately 3% of the memory in the flight data system, FDS, had become corrupted. A single memory chip responsible for storing critical portions of the software code had failed, rendering all data unintelligible. The cause? Either simple wear and tear after 46 plus years of operation or damage from an energetic particle striking the chip from interstellar space. It's incredible to think that a single subatomic particle traveling from a distant star could disable humanity's most distant explorer. That's what took the time and effort figuring out exactly what was the problem, explained Linda Spilker. We had to move all of those pieces of code to a different place in the memory, and that's what we did. But here's where human creativity truly shined. The engineers couldn't simply repair or replace the corrupted memory. They had to work with what they had. Their ingenious solution involved moving the corrupted software code to other areas of the FDS memory. Since no single location was large enough to store all the affected code, they split it into sections and stored them in different locations, modifying these code sections to ensure they still functioned correctly as a whole, updating all references to the relocated code. This isn't the kind of solution an AI would devise. It required not just technical knowledge, but creative thinking. The ability to imagine new ways to use limited resources. It required human ingenuity. We never know for sure what's going to happen with the Voyagers, but it constantly amazes me when they just keep going, said Suzanne Dodd, Voyager project manager. We've had many anomalies and they are getting harder, but we've been fortunate so far to recover from them. The most distant object ever touched by humans. To truly appreciate this achievement, we need to understand just how extraordinary Voyager 1 is. Currently traveling at approximately 38,026 miles per hour, 17 kilometers per second, Voyager 1 is now 15.6 billion miles from Earth, a distance so vast that our minds struggle to comprehend it. If you wanted to drive that far in a car at highway speed, it would take you over 31 million years to reach it. The spacecraft is now so distant that a radio signal takes 22.5 hours to reach it traveling at the speed of light. That's nearly an entire Earth day just for a one-way communication. For comparison, signals to Mars take between 5 and 20 minutes depending on orbital positions. The spacecraft operates on just 267.9 watts of power, about the same as four household light bulbs, generated by its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. This power supply decreases by about four watts per year as the plutonium fuel decays. Perhaps most remarkably, Voyager 1 has less memory than a typical email, just 69.63 kilobytes total. Your smartphone probably has at least 100,000 times more memory. And yet, despite these incredible limitations, on April 20th, 2024, the engineering fix proved successful. Voyager 1 began sending readable engineering data back to Earth for the first time in five months. 
By June 13, 2024, all four science instruments were again fully operational. Not the first time humans outperformed AI. This wasn't an isolated incident. Throughout the Voyager mission, human engineers have repeatedly solved problems that automated systems couldn't handle. In 2022, Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, which keeps the spacecraft's antenna pointed at Earth, began sending garbled information about its status. Engineers discovered that the AACS had started routing telemetry data through an onboard computer that had stopped working years ago, corrupting the information. Automated diagnostic systems couldn't identify this unusual routing problem because it wasn't part of expected behavior patterns. Human engineers identified the issue and implemented a solution by simply commanding the AACS to resume sending data to the correct computer. Even more impressively, in 2017, NASA engineers successfully fired up a set of thrusters on Voyager 1 that hadn't been used since 1980, 37 years earlier. These trajectory correction maneuver TCM thrusters were needed because the regular attitude control thrusters had degraded. This wasn't a simple reactivation. The cold temperatures in deep space meant that simply turning on these thrusters could damage them. Human engineers had to devise a careful warm-up sequence before activation, a nuanced procedure requiring judgment and creativity that automated systems couldn't provide. A journey beyond imagination? Voyager 1's story began long before most of us were born. Launched on September 5, 1977 during the Carter administration, it was originally designed for a five-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn. Few imagined it would still be functioning nearly five decades later. Just 13 days after launch, Voyager 1 captured the first ever image of Earth and the Moon in a single frame from 7.25 million miles away. In March 1979, it made its closest approach to Jupiter, discovering the planet's faint ring system and several new moons. In November 1980, it flew by Saturn and its mysterious moon Titan. In February 1990, Voyager 1 captured the famous pale blue dot photo of Earth from 6 billion kilometers away, showing our planet as a tiny speck in the vastness of space. In this image, Earth occupies less than a pixel, a humbling reminder of our place in the cosmos. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 made history by crossing the heliopause, the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. It became the first human-made object to enter the vast unknown between stars, a region no other spacecraft has ever visited. Throughout its journey, Voyager 1 has rewritten our understanding of our solar system and beyond. It revealed that the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space isn't a sharp line, but a complex, thick region where particles can move in both directions along what scientists call magnetic highways or flux tubes. The spacecraft has shown that the interstellar medium is not quiet as previously thought, but agitated and influenced by the sun. The magnetic field in interstellar space has proven to be two to three times stronger than expected, applying up to 10 times more pressure on our heliosphere than scientists had anticipated. The Golden Record, A Message to Eternity. While Voyager 1's scientific discoveries continue to amaze us, perhaps its most profound contribution to humanity isn't scientific at all, but cultural. Both Voyager spacecraft carry identical gold-plated copper discs containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. These golden records include 115 images and natural sounds like thunder, wind, and animal calls. They contain musical selections from different cultures and eras, including works by Bach, Beethoven, and Chuck Berry. They hold greetings in 55 ancient and modern languages. As astrophysicist Carl Sagan, who led the committee that created the records, put it, the spacecraft will be encountered and the record played only if there are advanced spacefaring civilizations in interstellar space. But the launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about life on this planet. Even if Voyager 1 is never found by extraterrestrial intelligence, the golden record represents humanity's first attempt to reach across the stars, not just with technology, but with art, music, and the essence of what makes us human. The future, human and machine collaboration. This isn't a story about AI failing, 
It's a story about the unique strengths of human and artificial intelligence and how they complement each other. NASA's AI systems excel at analyzing vast amounts of data and identifying patterns that might elude human observers. They can process the gigabytes of information that pour in from spacecraft every day, flagging anomalies and interesting findings for human researchers to investigate. But when it comes to creative problem solving, adapting to unprecedented situations, and making judgment calls with limited information, humans still have the edge. This is especially true when dealing with aging systems like Voyager 1, where the solutions require imagination, intuition, and the ability to think outside conventional parameters. AI methods will help us free up processing power from our own brains by doing a lot of the initial legwork on difficult tasks, notes NASA scientist Giada Arney. But these methods won't replace humans anytime soon because we'll still need to check the results. The future of space exploration likely lies in effective collaboration between human and artificial intelligence, each focusing on what they do best. AI can handle routine analysis and pattern recognition, freeing human experts to focus on novel problems, strategic decisions, and creative problem solving. The lesson, human ingenuity remains irreplaceable. Voyager 1's journey continues. With careful power management, NASA hopes the spacecraft will continue operating until at least 2025 and possibly into the 2030s, potentially celebrating the 50th anniversary of its launch. Someday, perhaps within our lifetimes, Voyager 1 will fall silent as its power supply finally dwindles below the threshold needed for its instruments and transmitter. But even then, the spacecraft will continue its journey through interstellar space. In about 40,000 years, it will pass within 1.7 light years of a star in the constellation Ursa Minor. And long after our civilization has transformed in ways we cannot imagine, Voyager 1 will continue carrying its golden record, a time capsule of humanity at the end of the 20th century, into the cosmic ocean. As former NASA Associate Administrator John Grunsfeld reflected, Someday, humans will leave our cocoon in the solar system to explore beyond our home system. Voyager will have led the way. The story of Voyager 1's recent communication crisis and the human solution that AI couldn't provide reminds us of something essential. As we develop increasingly sophisticated artificial intelligence, we shouldn't forget the unique value of human creativity, perseverance, and ingenuity. In the words of the late Voyager Project scientist Ed Stone, who led the mission for 50 years, the spacecraft have succeeded beyond expectation, and I have cherished the opportunity to work with so many talented and dedicated people on this mission. It has been a remarkable journey. A journey that continues today, guided not by artificial intelligence, but by the oldest intelligence in the cosmos, human creativity, and our unquenchable desire to explore. The Irreplaceable Human Element The story of Voyager 1 and NASA's experience with AI limitations reveals a profound truth about our technological future. While artificial intelligence continues to advance at a breathtaking pace, there remains something uniquely powerful about human ingenuity when confronted with unprecedented challenges. Voyager 1's remarkable recovery demonstrates that in the most extreme circumstances, a 47-year-old spacecraft with 70 kilobytes of memory, broadcasting from the edge of interstellar space, human creativity remains our most valuable resource. As we venture further into the unknown, both in space and in technology, this partnership between human and artificial intelligence will be essential to our continued exploration of the final frontier. If you found this video mind-blowing, smash that like button right now. This helps our content reach more space enthusiasts like you. And if you want to join our mission exploring the mysteries of the universe, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our weekly deep dives into space exploration. What do you think NASA's next impossible engineering feat will be? Drop your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this Voyager 1 story, check out our playlist on humanity's greatest space achievements linked in the description. Remember, we're uploading new space content every week, from black holes to exoplanets to the search for alien life. Subscribe now and become part of our cosmic community. Until next time, keep looking up.